my name is Saravana and, and I practice law at one of the law firms in Kuala Lumpur called Lee Shamudin, Ellen and Gladhill. I came across, I used to read law journals. There used to be a journal called New Law Journal. And then the article went further by giving another table on how much these lawyers apparently earn, these barristers earn in England. So the highest paid barristers in England, and it remains till today, are tax barristers. The domain of tax law is not purely income tax. It covers many aspects of tax law. So income tax is the main area. And within income tax, there are many subsets. There is transfer pricing. There is uh, international tax law. There is double taxation treaties. Yeah, and there are tax issues affecting M&A and so on. <clears throat> and you know, income tax, personal income tax, started as a temporary measure, you know. It was never meant to be a full-time measure. Politicians in England introduced uh, income tax in the late 1700s as a temporary measure to fund the Napoleon War. Then they realized, brilliant, easy money, let's keep it, you see. You only have one opponent in the tax practice area, you only go against the government. Yeah, Your opponent is without fail is the Inland Revenue Board and the Customs Department. And I like to take up a case where the client comes and tells me, everyone says they cannot do it. So can you do it? I like the challenge to do that kind of difficult cases. Uh, because if you, are, if you want to be a litigator, you take up the brief. But if the case is not perfect, and believe me, you will never get a perfect case. right? You don't pay taxes. If you look at section 106, subsection 3, a lot of defenses are taken away from taxpayers. You cannot go to court and argue in a civil suit that the taxes raised are incorrect, wrongly assessed. So what defense do I have? If you earn more than 2 million ringgit chargeable income, your tax rate is now increased from 28% to 30%. What troubled me or what concerned me was there are only about 2,000 Malaysians who are in that top tax bracket. That cannot be. So if your income is, if your tax is reduced by 6%, yeah, your disposable income will be higher. If you send your children to tuition, if you send your children to private school, if you go to private healthcare, you pay for gated and guarded guards, then what are you paying taxes for? Because tax money is supposed to give you security, good education, good healthcare. If the state has failed to provide these three, or not providing to your satisfaction, then when you pay taxes, you're not going to be so happy about it. Maybe tax the politicians more. Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe, is it? If it's such a law, politicians pay more taxes than all of us. I don't know. Mm-hmm.